Whoa! That's a long, hard walk. It's about a mile to get to my favorite spot here at the end of Wrightsville Beach. I've got to come up with a better way, and I think I have, this week on Kayak House. Now that it's winter and I don't kayak fish because I don't have the appropriate safety gear, I do surf fish up there in the Wrightsville Inlet where there's always a lot of nice blues hanging around. But it's a mile walk to get from the parking area to where I fish. So I want to have a beach cart that I can drag this thing on and not have to schlep it for a whole mile. I found this for five bucks at a flea market and I think it's going to provide the basis for my cart. Okay, let's do a quick walk around so you can see what we've got here. I milled down the seat to flatten it out. First step's complete. I cut off this lip on the seat and now it's all nice and level. I put two bolts through here and now I'm going to use some plastic welding and finish attaching this seat permanently. Not pretty, but it's gonna work. It's on there pretty good. I got two bolts in, and I melted a bunch of high-density polypro into this. As a result of doing that, I do not think that this is HDPE because it didn't really blend very well. But I think it'll hold. Now, we'll installed a piece of plywood there that I know is gonna rot, but I didn't wanna put a piece of HDPE there. I've got a big flat section. I want to see how long that lasts. I decided not to remove the wheels because the axle here is fully stabilized inside this kid's big wheel. Then I attached an inch and a quarter piece of PVC uh, to the frame and then ran it up to a couple 45s to get it a little more elevated off the ground got a piece of PVC going down that I use for a stand and this rotates. These are inch and a quarter. You could have just used a T-fitting and terminated it right here, but I think I may want to do a mod and add another piece of frame. But these are perfect as rod holders. Then in the middle, I drilled a hole. I did not glue these two sections together because I wanted to be able to remove this for storage. And I've got a bolt that sits in there that keeps everything together. I used some bungees to hold my toolbox on top here. And my wife says that I need to put the kid's uh, top back on because it has cool lights and sirens. That may be a mod in the future. And you could make this even cheaper by not having the 45 degree angles, just having a straight piece of PVC going back and using T-fittings for the rod holders instead of the cross pieces that I used. So there's some cheaper ways to do this, but you can see that the cheap option comes in at about $25. What I built comes in at around $34. Now you could take some additional cost out of this by not using the stainless steel nuts and bolts, but I decided not to have them rust and have the flexibility to reuse them later. In any case, either option comes in significantly less expensive as buying one of these that's manufactured. And if you're buying a manufactured one, read the reviews because some of them are not that robust. We'll see how it works. Comments? Better way to do this? Stick them down below. Take care.